Meredith? Hi. Hi, Phil Thompson. I'm the plant manager here at the dam. Beautiful Lake of the Ozarks. Welcome. Thanks for having us. We're excited about this tour that not a lot of people get to have these days. We're glad to have you here today to show you around. And it, it's a busy day. It's a busy day. <laughs> Come on in. I've got a hard hat for you and some safety glasses. Okay. Come on in. We'll take a tour. So Meredith, these blue covers that you're seeing are the covers over the top of the turbine generators. Up on top on this deck up above where you can see all the power lines coming in, yeah. those are our transformers that we have. Uh, the insulating material normally for a transformer is oil, but we use uh, a material called sulfur hexafluoride gas. We were always concerned about oil leaks or, or a, uh, a failure of the transformer in some way that would allow oil to run to the river. So when it came time to replace those transformers, we replaced them with an environmentally friendly transformer. The machinery is very well balanced. So even though you do feel a little bit of vibration, there's about 250 tons rotating that's, uh, that's very finely balanced. So you really don't get a lot of big vibration, just a little bit of vibration in the concrete. Yeah, it's minor, but you can feel it. You can feel it, for sure. <laughs> we operate three different power stations uh, from this control room, all are hydro power plants. When it comes to that, how much water are we talking? Uh, I think we were around 250,000 cubic feet per second on the Mississippi River. The main generators are, uh, uh, can produce about 240 megawatts. Uh, the last set of screens over here are for controlling our house service units. And our house service units are small units. Uh, they're only about four megawatts apiece. Uh, but they perform a special function. That's the black start function for the grid. So if there happened to be an electrical blackout, a grid blackout, uh, this power plant would be responsible for providing startup power for other power plants to kind of piggyback up to build power back up onto the grid. Somebody has to be in here all the time, I'm imagining. We man the power plant 24-7, 365. There has been uh, operators here busy taking care of this power plant and these generators Continually, this plant has never been unmanned uh, since uh, 1929. What would be next on a tour? Uh, well, let's go downstairs and we'll take a look at what we call our turbine deck downstairs okay. and we'll be able to see the turbine shaft rotating. So Meredith, this is the turbine deck. So each one of our turbines are down below, but all eight units are basically the same. We still are running two original turbines from 1930, uh, but six of the units we've upgraded to get a higher power rating. One of the... Yeah, right in here is uh, is one of the turbine shafts spinning. So the, again, the generator's up above, the turbine's down below, and it's connected by this 30-inch solid steel shaft uh, that weighs about 50 tons that connects these two components. The turbine is surrounded in the water passage, so as the water flows through, all that water has to be encapsulated in, a, in what we call our penstock. Uh, this is an example over here of one of what we call our governor oil pump motors. That motor has been running continuously for over 86 years. We take it out of service about once a year just to blow the dust out of it, turn it back on, and it continues to run. It's never had a winding failure or a bearing failure, so they really overbuilt everything and they built it to last. Uh, this is our machine shop. We've got some, some industrial sized drills, milling machines, surface grinders. Uh, over here, we've got some original uh, 1930 machinery that we still use. And they still work. They still work. They work very well. What do you do in this shop? What is it that you would be taking care of? So many of the parts and components for a 1930 machine are not readily available off the shelf. Shocking. So we have to build these parts ourselves, for sure. Well, you have a great view of the dam. It's a great place to work. I've been here a little over 20 years and uh, I've never gotten tired or bored with all the work that we do. Well, thank you so much for the tour. Thank you. Thank you. Great to have you here. Watch the full episode or explore more unique places on the Missouri Life YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button below to stay up to date with the latest content.